My relationship to Kenlock, I'm a descendant. That is where my family is from. All of this, like, was Kenlock. So where these warehouses are, these are where homes once were. My grandpa migrated up here from Tennessee and met my grandmother here. And he had kids, they raised their kids. And so they were bought out by Lambert Airport in the late 80s. Like hundreds of other black families in Kinloch. Um, and then they ended up moving to Ferguson. So unfortunately, I never got an opportunity to see the house in Kinloch. I wasn't born until after they already moved. But I, for me, I just really wanted to learn more about, you know, where my family was from. I wanted to learn more about my dad's upbringing, capturing his story while he's still here to tell it. But also, I just want to learn more about the area that raised, who raised me. Before Kenlock was incorporated in 1948, Kenlock was actually white. It was a commuter suburb and it was really, really big and blacks would come over here to work either as servants or some menial labor work and it wasn't incorporated until 1948. So technically, it being the first black city when you're official, when you're on the books, that was by black people. And now this is Holy Angel Church. The plaques on the ground are plaques of like notable people from Kenlock. So Maxine Waters has one, Jennifer Lewis has one, Dick Gregory has one. The displacement of black people, black families, and black communities have gone on for decades throughout this country. This is for the descendants of Rosewood, Florida, This is for the descendants of Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is for the descendants of Seneca Village in New York, now known as Central Park. This, this is for Kenlock.